Hey guys, I told you I would keep you informed and show you as I progressed on outfitting the truck for my overland-ish camping. Now I installed a metal rack and I secured it with zip ties because one, I don't have power equipment and two, I didn't want to drill holes in my truck. But it looks like it's good and sturdy and zip ties can always be replaced. I also squeezed in my tarp poles and I was really happy with the crib mattress. It's a good, firm, snug fit, and it's not going anywhere. As you know, I am a side sleeper, so this should be more than enough length for me, as well as enough width for the dog to join me. Should be more durable than an air mattress and more comfortable than a cot. As you can see, she is pretty much 80% loaded. Um, everything I need is on this rack. Let's see what we have here. The bottom, the flowered bag has the butane stove, the grill for the fire, and a couple of emergency steno stoves. The bottom pack there houses my tarps, my steaks, anything I need to uh, do camp stuff. I call it a tool bag. The next bag is my kitchen bag. Things like, you know, utensils, seasonings, foil, you know, a plate, a cup, um, stuff like that. You know, anything that you would have in a camp kitchen. There is also a collapsible dish pan and I finally bought a French press for easy cowboy coffee at camp. So far, I only have something in two of the four bins. I know one will handle my lighting uh, for outdoor filming, my headlight, the dog's headlight, and just maybe some random outdoor steak lights. Um, I know one case will handle the stuff for the bathroom, you know, toilet paper, uh, the stuff that goes in the potty, hand soap, a towel, you know, those kinds of things, as well as the shower system, even if I'm not going to use it right now. And I just don't know what's going to go in the other bins. So far on the floor, I have my shower tent and my chair. I'm pretty sure... Um, Two more tables will have to come in here, as well as the potty, the fire bowl, some wood. Um, and I can't think, you know, this went so well that I just, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. I feel like there must be something else because this is the easiest camp um what do you call this loadout I have ever had in the in the eight years or so that I've been camping? I had more crap than this um, when I was backpacking, okay? I just cannot believe how small I got this. And this is exactly what I needed because I just don't have the energy for a whole lot of stuff anymore. <laughs> I've done a test run on tarps outside of the truck and I'm going to go with a tarp off the back window. That seems to be the easiest. I also have to figure out how to make sun, uh, screens for my windows. So I'll bring you back when I'm ready to work okay, on the screens. I've been doing this video over several days getting ready for the first camping trip. Last night when I was attempting to figure out how I was going to do the screening for the truck, I had an eyelash that had went rogue on me and it was kind of stabbing me. So yeah, I'm trying to, you know, pick it out and my eyelid swelled. So now I'm just kind of deformed and I'm sorry. But I think I figured out how to do the screening for the truck. So let's go ahead and get to that. Okay, so first of all, I left the clip to the tripod at the house because I'm not home right now. I'm in a shady place. So I'm going to have to do this in stages and hold the camera. First, here is the window that I want to put a screen covering on so I can roll the windows down at night and um, still be sort of bug free. This is the screening I bought from Walmart. 
it's 36 by 84 and um, it's $10 These are the magnets I bought at Walmart. There's 10 in a pack, and they were $1.99. It takes two packs to do a window, at least the way I did it. Now, as you can see, I just laid the roll of um, screening on the truck, got it to the position I wanted. Then I put the magnets on to hold it secure, and now I'll just trim the screening. So, as you can see, that gives me some screening for when I roll down the windows. And I put it on the outside so I could roll the windows from the inside. Of course, I can't drive down the road like this. But once I get to camp, I can go set up the, fir the, the four windows. And then when I'm ready to go to bed, I'll do the screening in the back window. Now, I haven't cut the screening for that yet. It's going to be a little tricky. But I figure I got some time. Um, because actually, I'm leaving for the camping trip today. Let me show you the truck. And it is all packed up. And it, it probably looks a little cluttered. But oh my God, I've never had my vehicle look this good when I was going camping before. Everything is in its place. Everything is easily accessible. I am really happy with this new setup. And since it is going to rain both days I'm there, I guess we'll find out just how well this all works. So, as soon as I get home and pick up the dog and some ice, I'm hitting the road. And I will see you all at the campground.